MPOA or Malaysian Palm Oil uh, Association is the Malaysia's national industry association representing uh, palm oil producers uh, quite across the spectrum. So we have members who have a uh, few hundred thousand hectares of planted areas as well as the members who only own 40 hectares and above the smaller players. Uh, during the early 2000s, there were a lot of concerns uh, from the NGOs and other stakeholders about the environmental impact of uh, palm oil cultivation. So when the, a few of the founder men, members, namely uh, MPOA, Unilever, WWF and, and uh, AAK uh, came together to forming a global organisations to promote the production of sustainable palm oil. Uh, it was quite a novel idea at that time. That's because at that time there were not many uh, global non-governmental organisations in the agricultural sector. So it was uh, really, uh, I would say, a leap of faith by these founder members, including MPOA, to form this uh, organisation. RSPO, as we, uh, we all uh, know very well, is the Global Multi-Stakeholders Association for Non-Governmental Organisations, comprising of uh, various members in the palm oil supply chain, as well as some uh, interested stakeholders like the bankers and uh, NGOs. It was a challenge and a leap of faith for MPOA representing growers to form this uh, multi-stakeholders association, association together with all these stakeholders. So being a founder member and, uh, and a major palm oil producing country, Malaysia was uh, uh, chosen as the secretariat or the headquarters of RSPO. I recall that when RSPO was first was formed uh, in the and in the first uh, say three years, actually there were uh, probably around hundred plus grower members within the uh, RSPO, and at that time the the total members were just uh, a few hundred members. Therefore, grower members actually represent a significant proportion of memberships. One of the pillars of RSPO is its certification scheme. For this certification scheme to work, the growers have played its part. So therefore, I would say the growers during the initial years of the formation of RSPO uh, formed the core of the, the organization and uh, participated uh, actively in the certification scheme, thereby uh, making available RSPO certified palm oil globally. So RSPO, I think today is uh, widely recognized as the global gold standard for certified palm oil. And uh, particularly in the Western countries, I think it's uh, really a well-recognized uh, scheme. RSPO was formed 20 years ago, uh, way before ESG became a mainstream uh, probably just a few years ago. RSPO and the members took that very significant step 20 years ago. Uh, today, the palm oil sector is able to be uh, at the forefront of uh, addressing the concerns about ESG and sustainability. The membership has expanded tremendously to nearly 6,000. And uh, grower members, I think, uh, now form a very small proportion of its membership. The majority of members, I feel, has, has to play its part now in promoting the use of sustainable palm oil. So the growers have started the process by undergoing the certification. I think now the other members, uh, be it the processors, the consumer product companies, the retailers, uh, have to do their part to promote the use of palm oil. They should uh, purchase more products containing uh, certified palm oil. And then for the NGOs and the bankers, they should uh, now undertake constructive partnership with the growers uh, to, to tackle all the issues or, or challenging issues uh, surrounding palm oil production. So uh, we hope that they will not just be observers or just or criticizers uh, merely, 
but also be an active uh, partner with us, the growers, to tackle all the important issues surrounding the palm oil cultivation. Even though the, the grower membership in our SPO are rather small now, but uh, they still form a strong core in our SPO because, because uh, certification is an important pillar of our SPO and we need the growers to fully participate and support it.